Bazoolan is the new best bug type? Question mark? Let's get into it. Let's go over the set line. So for the personality, I am running Brawny to hit as hard as possible, nimble to be as quick as possible, and very clumsy because we aren't using any range attacks. If you want to go for very Brawny to do even more damage, that's completely fine, but I prefer nimble. It lets me outspeed a couple of things that honestly it's really nice that Vary is able to do. For the item, I'm actually running the Volcanic Ashes. At the end of the turn, I get a Burned, which might sound bad, but it's actually good. And it's really the only item I would actually recommend on Buzzalone if you're running the Vigorous ability, okay? To get the Vigorous ability, you need to evolve a Apprehension of Ari. But for the Vigorous, if you have a status condition like Burn, your melee attack will be boosted. Also, for Burn, if you are Burnt, your melee attack is cut in half, but the Vigorous ability actually ignores that drop, so it only is a beneficial status to have, okay? It's just at the end of the turn, you take a little bit of damage, and that's really it, okay? So definitely want Volcanic Ashes for the Vigorous ability. For the Muslin, we are running Adapted Assault. This is the strongest bug type move right now that Buzzlin has access to. We will get more later on the line, but you know, Fortified Level Cap. But for Adapted Assault, like all of the other Adapted Assaults that the Vary Evolutions have, it has its own unique secondary effect. So the other ones, like, have a chance to, like, lower the opponent's stats, has a chance to increase your own stats, or might inflict, like, poison or a status on the opponent's. For this one, though, I guess you could say it's completely different to all of Lowe's. This one doesn't have a chance, it is guaranteed 100% of the time. When you attack, you will leave your Stinger in the opponent, and for the next three turns, that opponent will take 1 16th of their health in damage, which is nice. So it's kind of like Pestilence, but it doesn't trap them in. If your Buzzlon swaps out, the Stinger will still be left in the opponent, so the only way to actually get rid of it is to actually wait the three turns for it to disappear, or for the opponent to swap out and get rid of it instantly, okay? Which is nice. That's, that's a pretty cool, like, secondary effect. Next up is Nosedive, really nice coverage okay, not too many bug types can actually hit other bug types, stuff like Swaldrakan with Mega Punch, Cinema of Calm because it's part air type, but yeah this is really nice, lets it hit other bug types and lets it hit some brawler types as well which is also very nice. The only like downside to Nosedive is that it has recoil and with the burn damage at the end of the turn as well, it would be really nice if Buzzlon has access to Parasitize but it doesn't right now. And the last attacking move that I have is Baneful Bash, the new strongest melee toxic type move okay. Let's say it's stuff like water types, like Luminami, Ventation, has a chance to poison as well, I think it's like 20%. And it lets it hit, like, again, other brawler types that might resist a Nosedive, which I don't think any of them right now in the game resist Nosedive, so most likely going to be clicking Nosedive, it does more damage as well. And the last move that I have on my Buzzlon is Barter for Volcanic Ashes, okay? If I predict something swapping like a Wrestlon, I can Barter it, and now the Wrestlon is burnt, and not really that good anymore for the rest of the battle. If I run Ill Will, that's also completely fine, but I'm not really sure if Ill Will is going to be that amazing on Buzzlum with like this coverage, I don't think it's really going to add anything, but if you want to try Ill Will, you can go for it then, okay? And for the TPs then, we are running 200 speed with Nimble. Let's just be as quick as possible, so we can also speed tie other Nimble Buzzlums. Let's just like speed creep Garlash, which honestly is really, really nice to have a bug type that outspeeds Garlash, and it isn't really like scared of Garlash too much. Garlash can't one-shot Buzzlum, and our Baneful Bash can do a lot of damage back to it. It doesn't one shot it, but it can do a lot, so if it's chipped a little bit, we can just get rid of it, which is nice. Also, let's me out speed like max speed Vesperatos, even if they're not that popular. Let's me out speed like max speed um, Nimble Eclipses, and if people even run Nimble Cosmeros, let me out speed that. So it's kind of nice to run max speed 200 melee attack, also to it as, as possible. And you might be thinking, oh no, Jim has done another 200, 200, 100 set. It's actually not. It's because we have 4 energy, this gives us 265 energy at level 50 because we have 100 base energy. We don't need any more energy than that. 265 is like enough, I've done like multiple like calcs with like these moves that I'm using. It's really hard to like go over 265 unless like you're using like 10 moves. It's like really, really nice, so we don't really need any more energy. So we have 96 TPs left over and uh, I'm going to stop playing the health. I've tried on going for like different defenses and it doesn't really seem to do too much because I mean... It's range defense is really tanky enough, it's no defense isn't super low, it's like good enough, so we don't really need to like dump it into anywhere else, so I'm gonna dump it into the health. And with that being said, let's get into battles then. Okay then, hopping into the first battle, and as you can see, we can actually use Buzzlon against some of these things, so I do like that. Okay then, I think I'm gonna go with this team, okay? I wanna bring the Gobidemic for our health gift, because uh, there isn't really a way to like get more health back on your Buzzlon, especially with like the uh, vigorous ability, you want it to be like burned, so you, you're losing health like every turn, so yeah, it's a, it's a little bit annoying, but we're fine. Anyway, they actually don't have a fire type, so we're gonna step ice school traps. I have my Revenine in this battle, so we can actually get rid of these. It's gonna suck because Revenine is not the uh, tankiest thing of the game. It is dumb frail, okay, but that's fine. We can go for the Earthquake Kirillan on the Bloat Talks. I want to say that the, uh, if they have their Garlash, 
that's actually good because my Buzzlun can speed creep it. It outspeeds okay if it's running max speed, which is nice. Oh! Well, that's the Blotox down. <laughs> well, the Blotox was actually good to get rid of because I can do damage to it, but it's just nice for it to be out of there, okay? Because usually the melee tanks, and they actually do have the Garolash. Hey, how's it going, Garolash? Terrifying? Okay, that kind of sucks. Um, the hardest part actually is, um, I would like to go into my Buzzalon, but it isn't going to get um, a damage increase unless I leave it in for a turn. So I think I might actually... I should go into Rev in, into my Eurosnack, baffle into my Revenine, go back into my Eurosnack, do it again, and then baffle into my Buzzle, <laughs> if that makes sense. So let's try that, I guess, because Eurosnack is very tanky, okay? I think this should work. And if we actually baffle it, I mean, we should outspeed it. I mostly brought Eurosnack for like a baffle user because I am str gonna struggle a little bit for the wrestling and for like stuff like Hunter. Your snack is going to help me for Hunter, and I get to, like, baffle it into my Revenine. So yeah, easy baffle. They don't have, um, Ticklips on their team, so I don't have to worry about clicking baffle. And it doesn't matter anyway, because when the Lanthian City update comes out, I don't have to about worrying about clicking baffle. Anyway, Revenine can come out here, get rid of the traps a little bit, and then we're going to go... If I go back into my Your snack, I'm not going to survive, like, extra turns. Um... I would like to get rid of the Esco Traps completely low, to be honest. I'm most likely going to go for another water type move. Himber... We don't really need the Himber anymore, so I guess we could actually go, go into the Himber, sacrifice the Himber, your snack, and then do it again, I guess, maybe? But I actually need to weaken this a little bit, so I guess I'm actually going to click um, maybe like Heartbreak and... Actually, we can Quick Punch it here. We can Quick Punch it before our Himber faints to get a little bit of damage. Also, I wouldn't really recommend doing this. I just thought, if I'm going to try Buzzlin, okay, I'm going to try and make sure I use it to the max, even if it means, like, sacrificing, like, half my entire... Oh, actually, all my entire team. Here, then, we can actually go into Revenine. That'll get rid of all of the traps for us. And, uh, actually, we can actually we can stay in here now. We don't actually have to use Buzzlin against the Garolash. I can just click a Ghostly Howl, and that should be the Garolash down. Right, because, uh... Oh, he just lived! Well, I'm sorry, Revenine. That wasn't meant to happen, okay? It critical hit me anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry, Revenine. It wasn't meant to end that way, okay? I swear. <laughs> well, that kind of sucks. I didn't think it would live that, but I guess it did. And here's Buzzle and Len. We can go for the, um... I mean, might as well just go for the Adaptive Assault. No point, like, wasting too much energy. So, yeah. Buzzlin has, like, so much energy. I know people are going to probably complain that, Jim, look at this. Jim is doing another 200-200-100 set. Hasn't he learned? There isn't really anything else to run on Buzzlin. I want to run the Nimble 200 one. It lets me outspeed stuff like Garolash, Max Speed, v Nimble. Uh, not very Nimble. Normal Nimble. Vesperatu, like, Nimble to Eclipse. Cosmere, but they usually run Brawn. So yeah, uh, it just makes sense, okay. And hey, I actually could click Nosedive instead, but that's fine. We could actually click um, Barcher. I mean, I do have Barcher. If you want to run Ill Will, that's also fine. But we could actually Barcher it, but this thing is going to one-shot me. So we're going to go for the Swift Withdraw. I don't think we can one-shot wrestling. It has got like some fairly decent defenses. And actually, at least they kept the Garolash. You do realize there is Ice Cold Traps. It's just going to get KO'd anywhere. There we are. There's the Driving Force. Oh, actually, Driving Force. Okay, I actually want to know how much Nosedive is going to do to Wrestlin. I think I need to, like, weaken it a little bit more. So, let's go for a Shadow Sprint. We still have our tank intact, so we don't actually have to swap out this turn. We can swap out next turn. So there's a Shadow Sprint. Yeah, Nosedive is definitely enough to KO that, right? There's no way it's not. Okay, nice. We don't really need to baffle it, but, I mean, we might as well. Oh yeah, I forgot my Stinger's still actually inside the wrestling, so it's still taking damage. I actually completely forgot about that. Because, <laughs> yeah, some people might say, oh, well, it should only take damage if it's on the field still, but I don't think that really makes sense because it's a Stinger. It's not a, um, it's not a, like, Pestilence or something, so I think it still makes sense. So they have Vesperatu and Wrestling. Um... I, I want to say Buzzlin can get rid of the Vesperatu here, so I'm actually going to try it. Even if we don't one-shot it, Vesperatu can't one-shot us, so Buzzlin's looking really good in this battle right now. Also, we take a little bit of burn damage, which is why I wanted the health. Um, 
the health uh, gift from Gobidemic. Gonna go back out into the wrestling, I would assume. Yep, I'm clicking those dive low. So yeah, Galish is gonna get one shotted. This is just gonna straight up. Oh, well, there's a critical hit. Nice. <laughs> I'd have to go for a nosedive and waste even more health. Feels like the only like issue about Buzzlum. It has nosedive on it is amazing. Like that's pretty good coverage. It gets to hit like other bug types, but it's just more recoil damage that Buzzlum doesn't really want to do. Okay, and his last one is Borok. Okay, Borok is gonna be a little bit of a pain. It actually gets a melee defense drop, so that is uh that's not even Brawny. I don't even know. I don't even know what that one is. Because very Brawny has higher than me. Brawny has higher than me. So is it a very nimble Borok? Also, uh, Mato does not look g good in this battle at all. So yeah, I'm gonna go into my Meditoad. Probably gonna get hit by an earthquake, but Mato isn't really good in this battle anymore. It was only I only really brought it for like help for like the Blowtox and the uh, Gobademic, but yeah. They don't really have it. Also, wrestling's down, so it's just Vesperato and Barok. We'll go for the cycle slot. Stays in Clicks Earthquake. Is that going to be in for KO me? It actually isn't, so Mato's actually going to KO the Barok. See you later. Oh, another critical hit. I'm getting a lot of critical hits, but uh, it wasn't really needed. I mean, I'm pretty sure I would have KO'd it anywhere. And there's the Vesperato, which is going to take even more. A little bit of chip damage. And yeah, we just click Cycle Slap here. They should just KO us because Meto does way too much damage. Shadow Sprint, that isn't going to KO, is it? Okay, it does. Uh, I mean, that's fine. I would have still gone for, like, Phantom Slash in case I swapped. But, uh, you do you, man. You do you. Anyway, into the Buzzlin. And this should be the game. Unless it somehow, uh, KO, unless we somehow don't KO it. So, yeah. Didn't really need to barter in that one because he kept swapping out. It, it's, like, really helpful for, like, some Lumians, like... It, or like, oh, if you do predict like a Cosmere, although you can actually stand on Cosmere. What's a, like, Wrestling, for example? If you have a Wrestling, you predict it swapping out, you can battery it when they're swapping out, and now they're burnt. And you probably have a Brawler Essence that you're probably not going to use. So yeah, Shell Sprint won't really do too much. So yeah, I like it. So yeah, Buzzle, this Buzzle one kind of helps with Vesperatu. I do like it. And there we are, Vesperatu's down. First battle done. That one also went pretty darn well. Oh, actually, does he, does he have another one? Here's another one, what is it, Garlash? Or oh, is the Garlash still, isn't it? Yeah, I, I forgot about Garlash, I thought I already fainted. Well, it's fainted now. <laughs> Thanks, man, I appreciate it. But yeah, that's the first battle. Let's hop into the next one. Okay then, hopping into the next battle. Again, another Garlash, this is actually really good. Also, a couple more things. I mean, we can't out be Tatab, so Tatab is going to be a pain, but we have your snack and we actually have Revenine, so still looks like a really good team for my team to go against. This should be like actually a fairly easy battle. My team has like a really good matchup against it. Okay then, I think I'm gonna go with this team okay this time. Gonna lead off with the Himber again. They don't have a fire type, so they can't get rid of my uh, traps. The only like one thing that is gonna suck on their team that I don't really have that much to deal with, like to swap into it, is gonna be the uh, Oxidrake. Anyway, into your snack. We don't wanna deal with you, Teteb, okay? I don't wanna deal with you. We can go for the slap down, remove something's item. We could go for the baffle, straight into my uh, Buzzlin, actually. Bushwhack. Actually, yeah, let's go for the baffle, straight into Buzzlin, because then we can just click a poison move and uh, Tetab faints before our. Oh, actually, it goes for the poison. That does suck, but that's fine. Your snack is mostly just here, just for battle use, to be honest. Just for a little bit of speed control and mostly hunters. Into Buzzlin. We should be able to O code the Tetab with a um, Baneful Bash, I believe is what it's called. It's a new toxic time move, okay? Or actually, never mind. Because I baffled, I get the burn straight away. So, yeah, Baneful Bash. That will be the Tetab down, because I outspeed it now. I actually got worried there for a second. Wait, do I outspeed it? I baffled it. We're good to go, okay? So, Tetab's down. Nice. I like that. I do like that. So, yeah, now, uh, I guess for the Oxidrake, we could actually um, batter it. It's just like if it has Driving Force, that will kind of suck. Because we are going to, we it, we don't burn it until the end of the turn. So we are going to take a full, powerful whack. Okay, Galish is coming out. Don't really have like an, a great swap in for this. But I don't think Galish actually KOs us. So we just go for Baneful Bash again. This won't one-shot it. Uh, it can, it will do a lot of damage though. Poison? Come on, Poison. No Poison. Fisher Snap, that won't be enough to KO. It does a lot of damage though. So we have like two more turns. This is where, like, health emulates would be, like, really, really nice. We'll go for the, um, Adaptive Assault, I guess, here. So, yeah, Buzzlin as well would really appreciate, like, Parasitize. Um, so, 
I guess like in the future you could run all of the moves that I have now, replace Barter with Parasitize, so you can actually get more health back. That would be nice. Also you could like swap out Adaptive Assault, but the Adaptive Assault I think is kind of nice with like being able to um, trap in a couple of things. Oh, not trap in, but like do a little bit extra damage. For the Himber, I don't really need to click Barter on it to be honest, but I, I yeah, if I click Barter on it, I think it's kind of a waste. So like, what did I do? actually just KO? Garolash, that's what I actually KO'd. Uh, I mean, yeah, there's nothing really else on their team that I really need to use Bart. Like, they could have Gobademic. I guess, like, Oxidrake. Oh, actually, he has Quick Punch. Okay, well, I should have gone into my uh, Eurosol there, but that's fine. We can go into my... Actually, no, we're going to Revenine. I'm going to say we could go into my Himber and get up some Ice Code Traps, but not really necessary. Straight into Revenine, and we click Fire Breath. Something faints. I guess, actually, if they have Salt I could bat try and battle the Salt because um, if I predict it coming out, but I might as well just click a super effective bug type move, so that doesn't really work either still. But I could get rid of this item, like, as a last ditch effort to, like, do something. So yeah, I mean, battery is alright. If you want to run Ill Will, that's fine. I'm not really sure if, like, Ill Will would be that amazing, glue. Do I outspeed you? I want to say I outspeed you. If I don't, though, I don't really have anything for the Wendelin, do I? I'll click Ghostly Howl. Is it very nimble? It's not very nimble. This should KO it, Lynn. Wendelin has no defenses. Oh, it actually just lived! What? Okay, well, I'm sorry, Revenine. I didn't think it would actually tank that, to be honest, because Wendelin has no defenses. I'm actually surprised it tanked that. Um, I don't really have anything left for this. I guess Himber. And then hopefully his last Illumi is like Salchi or Gobademic, and then I guess uh, Meditoad can deal with it. We'll go for the Earthquake. Final Ruse. Oh uh, no, no, Ember, don't miss, please. Well, that kind of sucks. <laughs> well, okay, well, there's Wendelin down, so now it's a 2v1. I want to say it's either Salty or Gobademic. If it is, Meditoad, easy peasy. But we're going to your snack tax with Scouts. I can baffle something, right? It's it's actually Oxidrick. Um, it can, it, I, I don't want to click baffle on this thing, okay? We don't want to click baffle on this. That would be very bad. We are going to go for the slap down low first to get rid of this item. There's the outburst. We can tank one of them. Okay, that definitely looks like energy orb version. So we're going to definitely take some damage. Yeah, okay, well at least we got rid of the energy orb. So that's, that's good. So now the next one's going to cost a lot more energy. And I don't actually know if it's going to be able to one-shot me from this rain, so... We'll go for the Heartbreak, that will let me have a chance to daze it, there's a bulk up. Okay, that is actually really, really, really scary. There's a Heartbreak, daze, cutie. Oh heck yeah, I, I, I do like it, man. Hey, we got the daze, nice. Yeah, the, the one thing I said that would be an issue is the Oxygen, because I don't really have anything for it. And this is clearly showing, <laughs> it is just going to start setting up, so come on. And it has Rejuvenate as well, hit yourself, dang it. Outburst, is it actually going to kill me this turn? Yes. Okay, then. So it's still dazed. So if it hits itself this turn, Medito can do a lot of damage to it. Outburst isn't really going to do that much anymore. His other move is going to be like, what? A metal move, which Medito doesn't care about. Steel Crusher or Dragon Force? I don't care about. So this is still looking pretty good for us. It hits. Dang it. Outburst, it does less damage. Well, that's still a lot low because it's at plus one. Okay, Psycho Slap. Whack. Oh, it's so close. It's okay. This, this is basically it. If if his outburst does enough damage, or he snapped out of it, he's gonna click outburst again. No, he critical hit me! No! <laughs> he's on one health! He's on one health! Dang it, man. That's what would've been, what would been... That would've actually been good for me to save the Buzzlon, bow to the Oxidric, but I forgot Himbra had Quick Punch. Even though mine has it, okay. So there we are. I still think that was actually a pretty good battle kit. The crit at the end, though, sucks. I'm pretty sure... If he didn't critical hit me, Metoad would have just lived it because Outburst does less damage, the less energy you have. So I think I actually would have been able to tank it. But yeah, there's Buzzlon. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.